Hello beautiful people, it is 1.59 p.m. March 4th. It's a Saturday. Uh, my plan for today was to do nothing all day. Um, but can't ever really do that. And when I say do nothing, I mean do things that I like to do. Like watch my K-drama and study my languages and watch YouTube videos. But I ended up going through some of the bins my boss gave me that I need to go through to take like inventory of what we have and what we can use for like showings and whatnot. I ended up steam mopping the floor. Shout out to my boss. She gave me a steam mop. And if you know me, you know I love cleaning. And I feel like I'm the only one that cleans the floor. So having a steam mop is very nice because I hate walking in the kitchen and seeing like drippings and stuff. And I'm just like, oh my God. And the Swiffer sucks. I hate Swiffers. Swiffers are a waste of money and they're trash and they don't clean. I hate Swiffers. The only good thing about a Swiffer is the duster, like the dusting part. Like that's the only thing that it actually does is it. <sighs> anyway, getting too worked up about a Swiffer. Um, so yeah, very excited about that. The floors look amazing. I figured, you know what? You have all these little tiny tasks on your to-do list. Why don't you just do them? I have the house to myself, so I could blast my music or watch my videos while I'm doing them. And most of them I could do in my room, but some of the big ones I need to do in the living space. Um, so one thing that I have really been meaning to do probably for the last like two or three months is make more strawberry jam. <laughs> we bought two flats of strawberries from Aldi because they were on sale for like a dollar per like carton. Are you kidding me? A dollar for strawberries? So we, we got two flats. I kept some of them to eat fresh. The other half I turned into jam. And then the other, um, I guess third, I froze so I can make jam later. And we ran out of jam like three weeks ago. And I love strawberry jam. It's an easy snack to put on things. And I like making things from scratch. So... I just took those out to thought. I should have thought about it earlier and took them out this morning or last night, but I really didn't think about it, so it's fine. They'll thaw, and then once they're like mostly thawed, I can go ahead and put them in the pot. They can boil down, I could crush them, it's all good. Another thing I've been wanting to do is clean the vacuum chamber. My dad will use the dry vacuum like the shark vacuum and he'll just like vacuum up wet things and it drives me crazy because we literally have a wet dry vac meant to clean up wet things so it gets all gunky on the inside and it looks disgusting and it needs to be cleaned so i'm gonna clean it what else oh i need to make those cotton rounds because I've been thinking about it and wanting to do it and every time I'm in that step of my skincare routine because I do skin cycling so it's four days so like the first day is a hyaluronic acid hyaluronic acid it's an AHA or BHA like one of those like liquid exfoliants and every time I get to that day I'm like damn I really wish I had those cotton rounds so I have one more day so t tomorrow is when I'll need the cotton rounds so I should do them today um or tomorrow during the day um so yeah i really want to make those i also want to patch up this quilt that i've had my whole life and then dye it green but first i want to patch it up so that when i dye it the patches are also green um it would look cute if they were different but that's not the vibe i'm going for i want to go like monochrome patch work sort of thing and i love that quilt it was my grandma's and reminds me of my grandma so i want to keep it but i want to give it a new life because i accidentally dyed it purple because I washed it with my towels that are purple and every time we wash them, I feel like they should be done bleeding by now, but they're not. So I actually have to like separate my laundry, which I like never do. Um, I normally do separate the towels, but like we also have like non purple or black towels. So I have to separate those. It's a whole thing. Anyway, that's what's on my list. 
I also also want to patch up a shirt that is my boyfriend's that got a rip in it and we don't know how it got there and it's been like eight months since it happened and I told him I'd fix it and I've tried to fix it multiple times but it's just not working so I'm thinking of like doing a different method but anyway there's just a it's all just like little things that I've been wanting to do and they're just like adding up so I want to get them done so the first thing I'm going to do is clean the vacuum because it has to dry and it has to dry completely and if it doesn't dry completely it'll get all gunky like it is now so I want to do that ASAP it is 205 and we're gonna do that in the laundry room so see you in there this is the vacuum in question that's repulsive it's empty. I emptied it. I put my hand in here and got all the fur out. So this is just stuff stuck to the walls. It's so nasty, bro, and I hate it. Um, I'm just going to clean this little food bowl. We don't actually use the bowl. We use the little insert that went into the bowl. actually recently changed this filter. What is that, bro? Oh. Disgusting. I have another one, so I'll change these out. Ew, even... That thing is like nasty, bro. Oh my god, I hate this. <sighs> okay. Well. Like, look at that, bro. Because he he sucked up something wet, and then it all just sticks to it. open the lid. This thing comes out. I just don't know how. Ew. Yeah, having gloves would be nice, but I haven't got any, so... Task one basically done. I can't get into this part. Like I would actually have to take it apart and these screws are like crazy tight. So I don't know how to do that. Okay. So these are the leggings that I'm going to use. They were my mother's from Lululemon and they're ugly. Lululemon is ugly and expensive for no freaking reason. So what I'm gonna do I'm just going to leave the legs like together like this and then just cut out circles. Honestly, to make my life easier, 
I might just make little rectangles or like squares because who cares? Not me. I just need them to get my face with my skincare. So, but I'm going to leave them like this because I want them to be double double sided, double walled. I want them to be a little bit on the thicker side. And I think this double layer is like perfect. So, okay, let's go. I'll be getting out and setting up my handy dandy sewing machine. Oh, this is the quilt, BT dubs. Ugh. I think it's called like wedding ring quilt or whatever. And as you can see, there are many holes in it. I think it's from our old dryer. But yeah, so I actually need to get the material I'm going to use to patch these up as well. But I might not do this today because it's a little bit of a bigger, it's a little bit of a bigger project. But uh, let's go ahead and set this here sewing machine. She's been for a lot. Like one time I accidentally like tripped over the cord and this fell off the table. It still works, but the light doesn't work, which is kind of annoying, but like, I'm, it's fine. It's annoying, but it's fine. And I don't have a ton of different colored thread. I mostly have the basics like white, brown and black, maybe navy blue. So I'm probably just gonna end up using the brown thread cause I have the most of that. And it'll probably have two different colors. Like the white, bobbin is in here so i'm probably going to keep the white there and then brown top stitch it doesn't really matter to me i don't care as long as they stay together oh, my scissors are in here too i don't sew often and when i do sew i never do it at the table i always do it sitting crisscross applesauce on the floor so I don't even know if I'll be able to do this. Let's set her up, shall we? Eight. I'm literally just going to do squares. So when I've seen other people do this, they literally just like they cut it out and then they just like do the border. I've never done that. So let's just do a test. Okay, and then I'm going to cut it in half because it's kind of big in my opinion. And then I just sew along the edges. All right. I don't know why I got the pins out. I, don't, I guess I don't really need the pins. This side's kind of thick. What kind of stitch do I want? Let's do a zigzag stitch. I'll do cheap. I like never change the stitching, so I hope this doesn't like completely mess it up. I wish I had a walking foot. Do I have a walking foot? No, I don't. Oh, I guess she turned it on. Take a look, see. I think it worked 
guys. But this is kind of ugly, I'm not gonna lie. Like, how do I make it look cute? You know what I mean? First try. Normally this stitch is like all the way at the edge, you know? And it like, the zigzag goes around. I don't know how to do that. Let's try it again. Okay, I made 16. I just need to cut off the little excess strings. 16 is more than enough for now. I'm tired, my neck hurts. Let's see, let me show you how much fabric I have left. I wish I didn't fold it up nicely because <laughs> I'm gonna unfold it for you. So, most of them are actually made from the waistband because it's already a tube. So all I had to do was zip 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 and then i just i literally would like cut do like two lines with a little tiny uh track gap in the middle and then just cut it but i would do like three or four like that and i go Ch -ch -ch -ch. i ran out of thread twice i had to re film my bobbin twice and i feel like that's enough so I'm taking a break. <laughs> I probably will not pick this up for a long while, but I have this, 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 which I accidentally sewed wrong because I sewed a long line rather than like two short lines and then like two short lines that way. And then I have, sorry if the angle's different, my camera died. Um, and then I have this. So I got through one leg and the waistband and I got 16. So I think I'm good for now. I think when I pick this up again, I'm gonna try to do the circles and make them look nice. But for right now, these ugly little rectangles will absolutely do the trick. So I'm not worried about it. And it's a nice little, a little tiny bit of fabric. I'm going to check the strawberries. I'm going to clean this up and then I'm going to check to see how frozen the strawberries are. Look, I went through this amount of thread. I I I finished one of the bobbins. I finished the white bobbin and then I was using black like a a I finished the white bobbin and then I used a black bobbin that was already spun. And then I was, so it was black and white. And then the white on the top ran out. So then I replaced it with a black thread. So then I was using black and black. And then the bobbin ran out of black. So I just re-threaded it with the same black thread that was on the top. And I have another black spool. So whenever I start up again, it'll be black and black. It's crazy. Um, when you really sew in like that, for real, you go through a lot of thread. I didn't realize how much thread is used. But yeah, that's it. I will update you on the strawberries right now. I need to get the rest of the stuff set up, but they're still pretty frozen, but I don't know. Do I want to do this today? I don't think I want to do this today. We'll do this tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow.
Doesn't it smell so good? <clears throat> yes. Hello friends, editing Michaela here. I wanted to update you on the jam. So I ended up getting four and a half pints, but unfortunately the jam did not set. It is liquidy. And this is the jam that, it, the jam, the strawberry, whatever, that is in the cabinet at room temperature. So normally jam would be set, but this did not set. So I was thinking I could probably make like strawberry lemonade, that kind of stuff with this or put it in like breads and as like fillings and stuff for pies. But when it's in the fridge, it is a little bit more viscous. So I'm still gonna use like the one I keep in the fridge as actual jam. Um, but yeah, a little disappointing because I tried a different recipe. I tried a low sugar recipe and I even followed the directions on the pectin jar for low sugar. So I don't know why it didn't set, but now I know for next time, we'll just have to try another recipe and hope it works. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you when I see ya. Bye.